According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, this battery from Unit Pack Power is now deemed hazardous, and they warn consumers to stop using this battery due to fire and burn risk. Now, this kind of hits close to home because my first ever bike build used this exact battery. Now, personally, I don't own the bike anymore. I sold it a couple of years ago. And after discovering this article, I did try and reach out to the buyer. But unfortunately, I don't have their info anymore. So there's no way for me to reach them. So instead, I'm making this video to try and warn that guy as well as everybody else that may be using unit pack power batteries. Now, to be clear, this warning only covers, I believe, two models of this triangular battery. I'll leave the article linked below the video if you guys want to see the full details. But still, it really doesn't bode well for the the safety of the rest of their products. And a lot of people use unit pack power batteries. They are very ubiquitous in the DIY e-bike space because one, you can buy them off of Amazon. It's super easy. And two, they are affordable some of the cheaper batteries you can buy. And thus, a lot of people are aware that they are getting a lower quality battery in exchange for a cheaper price. And when they choose to buy it, that's a risk that they're choosing to take. So for example, this is the official website of Unit Pack Power. And this unit right here, again, this one is not part of that warning, but we can see here that the, the battery here is 52 volts, 25 amp hours with a 40 amp BMS. And the price tag, it's just $363. In contrast, this battery is from what I think is a slightly more reputable brand. And it's 52 volts, 25 amp hours, and the price tag here is nearly $700. And the difference really comes down to the quality of the construction as well as the components. To break that down when we talk about the components, we're really talking about the battery cells and the BMS. And for this more expensive battery, we can see right here, they tell us what battery cells they're using. They say right here, quote, the cells in this battery are high quality Samsung 50G high capacity 5,000 milliamp hour cells. We only use grade A certified genuine Panasonic LG Samsung monocell cells. If we come back to the substantially cheaper unit pack power battery, and we try and find the same basic information, uh, the most they tell us here is the the capacity of the battery cells. There is no information here on what brand battery cells they are using. And if I had a guess, that's because they are not using a recognizable high quality brand battery. Rather, they're probably using some homegrown Chinese imitation brand, and that's how they can get the price down to this ridiculously cheap price. Aside from the cells, the way that they are connected and welded together is also of the utmost importance. If the battery cells are not properly welded together, that could cause sparks, arcing in the battery, and that could potentially damage the battery and initiate a catastrophic runaway battery fire. Now, unfortunately, on these websites, there's really no way to identify the level of quality control they have in their factories. But you have to assume that this is represented and included in the overall price. So by cheaping out, you're essentially opting for a lower level of quality control. As mentioned, I have used actually multiple unit pack power batteries before. This was my first build featuring that now recalled triangular battery. But I also had this bike, which used another different unit pack power battery. So my batteries never personally blew up, caught fire, anything like that. But now that I finally have a bike that uses high quality battery cells, my current bike has Samsung 50S battery cells in it. I can essentially confirm that unit pack power did not use anywhere close to the same quality battery cells. And that's because in comparison to what I have currently, both of my unit pack power batteries, even though they didn't explode, catch fire, anything like that, they did experience a lot more battery degradation over my time with them. So both of my bikes that had a unit pack power battery, I owned them for about a year. And by the end of that year, I noticed that my range was noticeably less than when the batteries were new by about maybe 10 to 15%. My current bike with the higher quality batteries also one year old at this point, and there is essentially no battery degradation. If anything, it's like 5%. So that's a pretty big difference right there. Another difference I can just point out here based off my experience is that both of my unit pack power batteries 
when charging them, they did get warm to the touch. I thought this was completely normal, but my current bike with the quality Samsung battery cells does not get warm to the touch when charging. And for reference, all of my bikes have always had a five amp charger. So that alone does not account for the difference here. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video on unit pack power after I saw this a warning from the Consumer Product Safety Commission about a battery that I personally had before. It's very tempting to buy one of these batteries on Amazon. It's fast delivery. They're super cheap when compared to the competition. But just be aware that there is a price that you ultimately end up paying for these budget batteries. It comes in the form of safety, low quality battery cells that degrade very quickly over time, and you don't know how the quality control is in their factory. But I'm sure a lot of you guys also have used or possibly still have unit pack power batteries on your current bike. And let us know in the comments below your thoughts and experience with those products. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate a like, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.